Mr. Speaker, today the Minister of Veterans Affairs unveiled a ribbon. It's easy to see that the Minister... Order. The Honourable Member for Charlottetown has the floor. It's easy to see that the Minister is focused like a laser on the priority of veterans. Order. I've, I've asked members before to hold off on their applause until the members finish putting the question. This is eating up a lot of time having these interruptions. The Honourable Member for Charlottetown has the floor. Yes, Mr. Speaker, it's symbols over substance. When will he unveil more funding to help veterans' families with their funeral costs? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs. Who reduced them? Order. The Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs has the floor now. Monsieur le Président, j'étais ce matin. D'abord, je voudrais rappeler à mon collègue que c'est le ministre de la Défense qui a lancé une initiative pour les familles de nos soldats qui sont tombés. Et j'étais ce matin, Monsieur le Président, avec deux jeunes filles, une en première année et une en quatrième année. Et tout ce qu'elle va avoir comme souvenir de son père, c'est un ruban mauve. Alors oui, je suis très fier d'avoir accompagné le ministre de la Défense pour lui offrir un ruban. Et vous comprendrez, mon cher, mon collègue devrait comprendre qu'il y a la commémoration et il y a les services aux vétérans. Et je suis très fier de tous mes collègues conservateurs depuis six ans qui n'ont jamais autant livré pour les vétérans, Monsieur le Président. Merci. Honourable Member for Charlottetown. Mr. Speaker, I fear amid all the applause that the Minister may have uh, missed my question, so let's give it another go. Uh, two years ago, Veterans Affairs conducted a review of the Burial Assistance Program, and the Conservatives chose to ignore it. And today, the Minister unveiled a ribbon. He once again chose symbols over substance. That's what he did. So let's try this again, Mr. Speaker. Will he increase funding to help veterans' families with their funeral costs? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Veterans Affairs. Yeah. Well, Mr. Speaker, let me get to the very substance of the funeral and burial program. It is a program, Mr. Speaker, that is provided to injured veterans in need. Since 2006, Mr. Speaker, this program has been provided to 10,000 veterans and their families, Mr. Speaker. And one thing I can assure the member on this side of the House we won't do is to cut this program like the Liberal who did, Mr. Speaker. 